Sheila. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys have to clean this. Yeah. We have to clean it, you spray it, just like a brush cleaner, flatten it out, wipe out your lid, shut it, put it back. After every use, mm -hmm. it just has to be done. I know this is an easy one to forget, just because it has a lid and whatever. Now your personal use, you don't do that, but you're talking about But yeah, you have to, so this is how I do it. I say, uh, cause if you don't know how to use it, you're not gonna sell it. Mm -hmm. I say, this is our bronzing dust, right? Full, open to full for the body, the legs, the shoulders, it's great. A little illumination and a little bit of uh, semi-permanent tan, right? Mm -hmm. Shut it halfway for contouring and um, I use this for my, it's not a cheek blush, it's a contouring blush. I use that. Shut it all the way. After you've done everything, I do this last. All shadow and everything, because then I hit their face and, and it sells every time. I hit their face. After all the makeup's done, I go and I contour the cheek and then I, even over the shadow, I hit a little on the end. It lifts the eye and it does show. And it ties the whole face regardless to what lip color they're using, to what shadows they're using, or what wrong anything they have on. Uh, you can fix makeup mistakes with this in, a, in a two seconds. Huh. Even if they don't, like, I don't, I like my shadow, uh, whatever. Then you just go, hey, you know, you should see our bronzing dust because this is really great for contouring. Da -da 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 -da. Hit their shadow, done. It's, it's amazing. If you're gonna do photography, take photos, and you wanna use this for contour, you just have to make sure that you don't uh, do this hot as a highlighter because what this is is not a highlighter. It's a contour. It's a bronzing. It's actually a body bronzer. But um, it has little particles of glitter-ish in it. So you have to know that if you're a photographer, you're gonna get light bank off. You gotta watch the light bank off. So whenever you're doing photography, matte is best, then highlight the protruding areas with the frosty, whatever. Because you don't want to get light bank off in the wrong areas. That's why people and always do the ears. You always do your ears, otherwise people look like Dumbo. Okay, so um, <clears throat> that's for photography. Okay, so I'm gonna do it halfway, mm -hmm. and we're gonna do her Well, you're fi you're fine. You're going. So the brush is, is it half mask, right? Half mask. Okay, and you're doing it almost like a. I'm going. Okay, make sure you stay. Oh, there we go. Make sure you stay up the cheekbone, going up. Don't go on the cheekbone. Go down. Don't get all brush crazy. <laughs> right here we go again with the brush thing. Don't you don't need to do that. You just need to slide it on. Highlight the cheekbone. I'm gonna go a little dark, so don't think, because it's not gonna really show if I don't go darker. So you're going right under the cheekbone, is that right? That's right. Okay. Like that. Yeah. With mm -hmm. pearlizer. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where you put the pearlizer. Above it. You don't want to do undo what you just did by putting it over that. Right. Okay? That's where I put the pearlizer on her. And then overall, I probably go a little right here, just because it's a little dry looking right there. Now you'll see skin textures. Try not to fight the skin, um, the skin texture. If it's pory, you gotta dipple it to get it in there. Don't want to go over it because all you're doing is making sketches, jump, jump, jump marks, right? If it's pory. Make sure you tap it in there. If her skin is going downward, you'll see it. You can see it. And then you're talking to yourself in your head. I mean, we all talk to ourselves in our head. Um, you're going to go down with it. Okay? If she's got lines going this way right here, we're going to go this way with it, and then we're going to go up with it. That's why you sometimes, if you have your makeup professionally done, especially by someone who's like a cosmetologist or an esthetician or whatever, they go with, you, it feels like they're just going like this, but in actuality, they're hitting the pores. Is that why? Going like that. But it feels like I'm just kind of going whatever. Mm -hmm. So then you're going to go home and just go, but that's actually not what I'm doing. Okay? You got to make sure your makeup goes in your lines, otherwise it's going to look cakey, chalky, and sketchy. Okay? And I don't want, as a 
for if you're working with people, you don't want to be stretching out their not that you have any. But you don't want to be stretching out your wrinkles. The the bronzing dust, if you want to use it as a contour. Also, too, you can use dark foundation. Like mink works really good for this actually. Okay, I'm using mink. I don't really like my brush. I'm gonna do it a little dark. There it is. You don't have to do rub, 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 rub. Just get it on there and leave it. And again, when you're when you're trying to help women create that depth, if they don't have cheekbones, that's what that dark will do, because dark deepens, right? Mm -hmm. So dark kind of creates a hollow that'll be right under the cheekbone, and then you're gonna like like you saw Renee do earlier, then you highlight right above, and that will make the cheekbone pop or appear. With lotion, I find that anything that are blushes. You, I mix it with lotion a little bit just because it's easier to move around. Mm -hmm. Moisturizer. <laughs> It'll get in your brain. Okay, so seriously, when I show this, I put a tiny, minute, pin-sized dot. Yeah. And I tell them, this project's going to probably last you like a year. Yeah. Or 12. A tiny, minute, teeny, tiny dot. I have some of my original, don't and you? And you mixed it with moisturizer? I did it this time, oh, what did but you I usually do nothing. Oh, okay. I always, I always like put, put it on and take it off. There's plenty in there. It might not look like it, but it is. Right. Promise you. And sometimes you could use the just the brush the next day. That's it. When well, you're looking at the placement, I notice the placement's on the apple of the cheek. Mm -hmm.